Today's comment of the day is by Fine Docs or Fin Docs or Fine. I, I don't know. Find Docs or Fin Docs. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But he said, or she or they uh, said, I like the effort you put into your videos. Keep it up. Thank you, Fine Docs. I appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort in my videos. So I'm, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that it's being shown and, and you guys are enjoying it. And I appreciate you for enjoying the content. Thank you so much. And I hope to see your face in your comments in other videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get started with the video, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the top three offensive perks for early game slash beginner players, in my personal opinion. Usually, in Noido, perks are your defense and your wand is your offense. Uh, but I feel like some perks can give you the extra edge, especially early game, to deal more damage to enemies and, 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 and just make the whole entire run a lot easier for you before we start feel free to leave a comment down below of your top three personal favorite perks i'd love to check them out give some insight give some feedback go back and forth it'll be amazing and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah let's go ahead and get started the first perk we're gonna be talking about is the lukey minion as you see he's right there this little guy is pretty damn strong he does 30 damage to anything that's near you um and pretty much one shots everything that's on the first few levels um, I also find that he's slightly controllable as you can see he's in the middle of my character right now If I start shooting to the left, he'll go to the left If I start shooting to the right, he'll go to the right So any direction that you're shooting, he will actually go in that direction So if I wanted him to attack little dude down there, I'd go down here start shooting that way And then he'll start attacking him as you can see just like that And I could do the same thing with little dude over there shoot that way Well, I actually killed him, but you guys get the you guys get the gist One of the main reasons why I like this guy so much is the fact that he does so much damage to the early game uh, The early game god if I can get him to attack him real fast You can see he literally does so much damage to him and I don't even have to do anything But sit here and just wait for him to die. It's like a really good way to just have this guy die from your minion And you don't have to worry about anything as you can see He's actually attacking my minion, and uh, if my minion just goes over there again, I'm pretty sure he'll just die. But yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna keep attacking him, doing 30 damage per second as usual, and eventually the dude is just gonna he's just gonna fall to his knees just like that. All I did was literally just sit back and guide my minion and just wait for him to die, and 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 that's what happened. He died. This is a really good spawn, by the way. It comes with a trigger bolt, a shotgun with a, with a permanent shield. It's not bad. Besides that, the Luki Mini is just a is just a nice mean to just have to deal extra damage to nearby enemies for you without you having to do anything. It's really convenient. Just have like a nice little guy, you know, so you're not all alone inside of these caves. And uh, you know, I, I find him to be really convenient in a lot of situations. Next perk we're gonna go over is Plague Rats. Plague Rats basically, whenever an enemy dies, a rat will be spawned in its place. I can see, as you can see down there, and the rat will just completely annihilate anything that uh that comes across it. Um, the main reasons why I like this one so much is because the rats act as a distraction. They're mainly not used for their damage, but mainly um for distracting other enemies for me so i don't get hit that much so it's an offensive but also kind of like a defensive perk in a way um but it's super convenient just for the fact that it distracts enemies for me and look at that I, I didn't have to go down there they're just killing things for me you know what i mean like it, it's super duper convenient um one thing with the plague rats their damage and health actually scales with the y-axis of your player so the lower that you are inside of the levels or inside of noida the more damage and health your rats will actually have to deal with the harder enemies in later levels which means not only is this a good early game perk to have but it's also a good late game perk to have just so you can have that distraction and extra damage um on you at all times now one thing that i have noticed the minion doesn't actually activate the perk i have to kill enemies myself for the rats to spawn um but if my minion kills enemies the rats won't actually spawn so that's a little bit of a downside but other than that i think it's a pretty good perk the next perk that we're going to be talking about is the angry ghost perk as you can see it's a little bit of a little bitty ghost that follows you around and copies any projectiles that's near you um which that could be your projectile, that can be an enemy projectile, but it will basically copy the projectile and it'll also copy the attack speed of your character. As you can see, he he's pretty much the exact same as me. Anything that I shoot, he will shoot. So as you can see, if I have a one that shoots a little bit faster, he will also shoot a little bit faster, which is really handy. This practically doubles the damage output that you have as you can see if we just shoot this guy instead of it doing 30 it's doing 60 50 around there another extremely good thing about the angry ghost is the fact that it actually copies limited spells so as you can see in my inventory i have a black hole right now with three 
uh, with three little charges. So if I use all three of these charges up real quick, just like that, I now have no more charges. However, my anger goes, he'll keep on shooting black holes at a rapid pace. It, it'll copy your cast delay and your recharge time from your current wand um in black holes for days literally black holes unlimited black holes for days unlimited look at this it's a giant hole literally i don't even know why this is here literally just a ginormous a ginormous hole because of my angry ghost and you can do this for any unlimited spell or any limited spell things like bombs things like heals anything you want this is like probably the easiest way to get early game unlimited spells that are limited and there you go ladies and gentlemen those are my personal top three favorite offensive spells for early game and for beginner players uh, i'll go over them again just for the guys in the back first we have angry ghost which practically copies any of your spells on your one it copies your one's refresh rate and in and, and, uh recharge time and it can also copy limited spells even if you don't have any more charges the angry ghost has an unlimited amount of charges which is really really good second up on the list we have plague Ratch, which which uh, whenever an enemy dies, a rat will be spawned. This is really good for uh, having a diversion so you don't take that much damage. All the enemies aren't aggroed on you. They're actually aggroed on the rat, uh, which means less damage from you and more time for you to escape if you're in a sticky situation. And lastly, we have the Luki uh, minion. I probably said that wrong, but the Luki minion, uh, which is a good just melee damage minion to help you out in your in your, uh, in your your battles and your traverse. And it's a really good minion to do damage for the early boss of the... Uh, whenever you anger the gods just in case you want to come back to the holy mountain and edit your wand again you can easily just break through it kill the kill the boss that spawns and go out with your day uh and i think that's really really good top three early game offensive perks from me if you have your own personal list feel free to leave them down in the comments we can go back and forth converse and everything like that i think it'll be amazing and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to check out my additional content over at twitch i go live just about every day uh, my name over there is Samorjo, so make sure you guys check me out. It would be amazing. I would love to see your pretty faces there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great evening, afternoon, and morning, and peace.